you know, if you go to John Jewett's Instagram page, it's funny how these pros, they know it's true, but everybody's so caught up with what everybody else is doing that they can't actually focus. They've always got these distractions in their minds, you know? They can't ever just dig in. But back to John Jewett's page, <laughs> we looked back a couple days and he said he had an amazing quad workout. And his quad workout was two sets of single leg press and two sets of single leg extensions. Now you watch the footage. Yeah, it got real intense at the end, but he didn't hit failure. I bet you if he'd have hit failure, he could have destroyed his quads with two sets. And that's how we were able to do chest and shoulders today. Two sets for chest, two sets for shoulders, and be toasted. I mean, I'm, I'm ripped up. I can't think of something else to do. Welcome back, gentlemen. It is Monday, August the 14th. We're here at P5. It's a full house today, so I'm not getting too uh, intricate with my camera setups. Eric will edit it up, but we're here to train chest and shoulders where I trained it last time. Using this Smith machine, it's right close to the house. So I had a long day of work. Just want to get back home earlier. Less drive time, less all that. So and I'll have somebody to spot me too. So name of the game is prioritization. I want to bring the shoulders up, putting them in the front of the workout. I felt like in 23, looking at my stage photos, my upper shelf was a little bit more poppy, a little bit fuller. Now I know I've improved my arms, so that's gonna make the uh, proportions a little different, but I wanna get back to that. I was pressing real heavy last year and I've already exceeded my all time best. I think I hit 275 for 12 reps last time I was in here. I didn't record that workout, but we're gonna try that today. Try to beat it and do a warm up set with this and then uh, figure out what the top set weight's gonna be. I don't have no smelling salts. <laughs> make sure my music will play. There we go. All right, here we go. This would be 295 on a regular barbell. Scary. was six unassisted the next two was assisted seven i call that 6.75 reps <laughs> whatever i went up 20 pounds that's a big weight jump but we still fell in the range i'd hit 12 with 275 which is all-time high for me you know last time i was pressing it was five reps for 275 on the shoulder press so i was big i was big and heavy it felt real good too feeling huge all right, big wins on the uh, shoulder press. So now we're gonna go to the lateral raise. We're gonna use a machine. That's one step towards stabilization, but we can take an extra step. So on this machine here, you got this little pad. I see a lot of people sitting like this, putting their head on it to do rear delts. I'm gonna sit my ass on it to completely stabilize my upper body. The further and further you can get towards stabilization completely, the better and better you can get at isolation. So we're gonna take it there. Look at them delts, man. Let's pause it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> yeah, filling out the three X shirt, I'd say. I say that's pretty good. Yeah, I know. I know. But it's a vibe though. Nobody knows where I'm looking. And I know that they can't tell me. So it helps me feel isolated. Helps me feel alone. In my own zone. In my lane. So those two real nasty sets. Amazing. Was thinking about doing a press for chest, but hammer strength chest machines suck. They absolutely suck. If you know anything about leverages or loading a muscle, yeah, they're trash. Hammer strength, womp, 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 on chest. And that's all they got here is chest hammer strength machines. I was thinking I was gonna walk over there and do the cable fly, but you know what? What have I been saying? Stabilize, stabilize, stabilize. Cables are awesome. I love them. But this thing, it's better. It's better because it's more stable. I got a heavy ass weight loaded on it. I think it's a 250. Yeah, 250. 
I might die. I tear a pick. <clears throat> Whew. Let's go. Ooh, that's good. Oh. Now that's how you intelligently bail. So I've got the machine set up to where the range of motion is greater. But when you're fatigued, you know, after a true set to failure, if I would have tried to let those both go back, I can't go that far back anyway. So that would have put me in a really compromised position with my chest, with my chest fully stretched out, fatigued, and under a heavy load. That's a recipe to get injured. So what you do when you're set to failure is just compress, turn your body, let that one loose, let go of the other one. Every set, man, is like a, uh, a religious experience, you know? It's like those uh, moments where you almost got in a car wreck. And you're like, whoa, that was close. That's how that feels. Well, workout's almost finished. I think we'll find one other thing to do, and that'll be it. All right, well, the chest is heavily fatigued when that set of flies. That was brutal, heavier than I've ever been on that machine. Wonderful reps, perfect execution, amazing amounts of fatigue. I want to train the upper part of the chest since that was more of in a standard position. This little press machine right here is great, surprisingly. I'm not a big life fitness fan. You know, it's kind of like your run-of-the-mill, fill your commercial family gym up with kind of shit, but they have some that hit. These work. There's a nice arch in the uh, inclined position. It's got a wide handle so you can set it up how you like. I can go a little bit closer, which is what I prefer. I'm gonna let my elbow path follow the path of the implement, and it's gonna bind an upper part of the chest. Feels amazing. So, what's the name of the game here? What did we do so far today? We prioritized and we specialized. We were very specific. We forced ourselves to be very stable. It was 100% effort, and we needed almost no volume when we trained that way. <laughs> it's funny, if you're watching this, you can go on uh, John Jewett's Instagram page. You see, all these people know this stuff. They know what I'm teaching, but they also have that other side of themselves where they have to, uh, they have doubts. And they know it's true, but they still got to adhere to this hindbrain that they have. But if you go look on John Jewett's page, he said he had this amazing workout that destroyed his quads. And it was two sets of single leg press and two sets of quad extensions. And for an IFBB pro, that's absolutely unheard of. But for us, I mean, it makes perfect sense. And if you watch him train, he didn't actually even go to failure on those. So if he'd have went to failure, he could have murked his quads in two sets. But they'll catch on eventually if they can train hard enough. All right. Final set, incline chest press. This little life fitness machine, it's got a great um, great plane of motion. Really hits good, close grip. It's a winner. Hammer press, uh, hammer strength, plate loaded presses. Our dog shit, this little life fitness machine. It rocks, so we're gonna use it. I'm extremely fatigued. That set of uh, machine flies was brutal. It don't take much when you do it right, guys. Here we go. We're gonna get the elbows in line with the implement. Rest pause after them partials. <clears throat> True failure. 
You know, if you go to John Jewett's Instagram page, it's funny how these pros, they know it's true, but everybody's so caught up with what everybody else is doing that they can't actually focus. They've always got these distractions in their minds, you know? They can't ever just dig in. But back to John Jewett's page, <laughs> you look back a couple days and he said he had an amazing quad workout. And his quad workout was two sets of single leg press and two sets of single leg extensions. Now you watch the footage. Yeah, it got real intense at the end, but he didn't hit failure. I bet you if he'd hit failure, he could have destroyed his quads with two sets. And that's how we were able to do chest and shoulders today. Two sets for chest, two sets for shoulders, and be toasted. I mean, I'm, I'm ripped up. I can't think of something else to do. If I am gonna go do something else, I think I'm gonna go hit one set of triceps because they feel fresh, and maybe a set of seated bicep because they feel fresh. So if anything, that would be it.